Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to connect a Z-Wave door lock to an IQ2 controller. So the IQ2 I have right here and I have my Z-Wave quick set door lock. Whoops, accidentally armed it. Um, basically what a Z-Wave device is, is uh, a home automation device such as a light, lock, door, thermostat. Today, we're actually working with just a door lock. It is Quickset. There's a lot of other brands out there, Schlage, Yale. Um, Quickset is the one we like to work with. It's uh, easily compatible, causes less problems, so that's usually the one we recommend going with. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into showing you guys the quickest, easiest way to learn in the Z-Wave door lock to your system. So first thing you want to do, you can either press. I like to pr I like to slide down from the top. You slide down, you go to settings, you then go to advanced settings. It's gonna ask you for a dealer code or the installer code. Mine is defaulted, so I'm either going to use 1111 or 2222. So I'm just gonna use 1111. I believe that's the installer code. I'm then going to go to installation, devices, and then Z-Wave devices. Once you're in that screen, you now have a whole lot of different options. The first thing you're going to want to do, even if you bought a brand new Z-Wave lock, you first need to make sure that you exclude it or you clear the device. Yeah, so to do that, you're going to press clear the device button. Once you do that, it's going to go into like an exclusion mode. So you, once, it's in the, once, it's, once it's in that exclusion mode, Make sure you take a look at your manual because each lock is different. This one's actually pretty easy. I'm just going to go ahead and take the cover off. And my function button for my Z-Wave door lock is actually the A alpha, A as an alpha button. Now, it's different for a lot of different door locks. Sometimes you guys have a little green button. Sometimes there's stuff that you guys have to do through the actual touch pad. So make sure you guys read your manual and find out what the function button is for your Z-Wave door lock. Mine, again, is just the alpha button, so for me, it's gonna be easy today. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit clear device. As you see, it says press the learn button to clear a device. I'm gonna hit the A, and then on the pad, on the actual IQ2, it'll say device is clear from the network successfully. All right. What we're doing there is even though you guys did buy it and you remember these locks are factory tested, sometimes they forget, you know, they're not, they don't get excluded from everything that they've, that they've tested them on. So basically clearing the device wipes out any controller, any Z-Wave, any Z-Wave hub that this lock is tied into. So you always want to make sure you exclude whatever Z-Wave device you're learning into your system first. So now that it's excluded, I'm all good to include it now, or to add the device. So I'm gonna hit the top left, add device. I'm, then I'm gonna hit include. It's gonna stay saying searching for device, getting device type, and then message, it'll say the press the learn or include button to add the device. So I press the A button. It says discovered um, an ID node, right? So it discovered my door lock it's currently ID is set to three you can the type is set to door lock but the name you can actually change it custom name um, I'm gonna leave it as front door but you guys can name it whatever you want so if you guys have it as back door front door office door whatever you guys want to name it as you guys can go ahead and hit custom name and do that I'm just gonna leave it as front door then I'm gonna hit add and now my device has been added successfully you can go ahead and include another one if you guys are still there. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the little home button right here at the bottom. It takes me to my home screen. Now that I have it added, it should come up in my Z-Wave screen here. See, right now it says my front door is locked. If you take a look, the lock is out, meaning that the, it's locked. Now, if I just simply tap on the screen or if I just do unlock all, so if you guys have more than one lock, you guys can easily do unlock all and it'll open up all the doors or you can do lock all and it'll lock all the doors. If you guys want to do one specifically, mine right now is set to front door. I'll go ahead and tap on that button. 
and you should see this starts going in to unlock. And uh, obviously the command went through, but it just takes a couple of seconds for the actual panel to be refreshed on the status of the lock. Same thing if you're doing it through the app. If you guys learn in the Z-Wave lock to your panel and you guys have automation enabled on your alarm.com app, all the Z-Wave devices will show up on the app as well and you can actually control them from your phone if you don't want to control it from the panel. But again, that does require some level of monitoring. So this was just a quick video on how to add a Z-Wave door lock to your IQ2. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to, you, to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys are notified. My name was George. I'll see you guys next time.